Hello friends, this is Scott. A little over a week ago, a little bit of a tragedy hit the community of Fountain Green, which is where the hobby farm is located in Utah. As you see here in the headlines that more than half of the Fountain Green homes were affected by flooding. And I got a call while I was working on my last video from my neighbor. He said, you better come down. Uh, we've got problems. We had like three inches in 20 minutes of rain, which is very unusual in this desert, high desert climate. But so I come down the stairs and look in the basement. And again, my basement isn't totally finished, but I do have a little apartment here in the back. But as you see here, we got water on the floor, a little bit of mud. Again, as I'm walking toward the back, there's a little bit of an apartment where I let the uh, previous owner, they're an elderly couple, they come and stay with me in the summers. Uh, and uh, they have a little place here, but I'm not going to show their property, but the floor is wet all throughout. Now here's a little you know, hallway to the back door and you see there's lots of mud coming through. And as I open the door, you can see my problem is I got lots of mud coming down. And, and as I move these containers that were sitting outside the door, you see there's quite a bit of mud there, several inches. And uh, as you also notice that if you watch my previous videos, the previous owner had a daughter in a wheelchair and the, the church, local church came in and, and dug a, uh, put in a, a ramp for her, a sidewalk that slanted toward the house. And they dug up the dirt and just left it piled on the side of this pathway. And so therefore we've got a problem if it's gonna rain like this. And, you see the water line mark, it's about eight inches up on the door, that's where the water was. And that, that door, this is on, on the uh, east facing and we're lucky, uh, we're on the east facing. And I think the biggest godsend that I had was the big pile of dirt that I've been excavating and I had a little bit of dirt removed from on the side of the sidewalk. Well, most of the water I think fell into that just by pure chance. And then some of the dirt sloughed off and plugged the drains and then went into the house. So I've, you know, again, got this big pile of dirt where I am going to put a sunken patio here. And my whole intention has been is to remove all this dirt eventually. So I didn't quite know what to do at this point to get started. I was thankful that we weren't worse uh, off than a lot of our neighbors who had a full flooded basements. So I feel very fortunate, but I got to do something about this sloped driveway or sidewalk. I can't have it like that. So anymore. So went to the city and they had some free sandbags. So I grabbed those and the county was good about... Uh, allowing me to have a dumpster. Again, they solicited me. I did not call for one, but they, they asked if I wanted one and they had one. So I got one that was a lot bigger than I need at this point. So the neighbors can use some of it if they need to throw some things away. And I'm also going to take advantage of it and, uh, and uh, throw some other things away that I have around the property. But so that's, uh, yeah, the county came through with a, with a dumpster for me for the, the amount of damage. Now we had a lot of water on the floor. We had a lot of property items on the floor. So there is ruined items. So but it could have been much, much worse. The neighbors had it a lot worse. Anybody with a west-facing window well was literally flooded. You know, everything went right through the window well, right through the windows and into the into their houses. So, so I feel very fortunate, but I'm fortunate to the point where I've got this problem I still have, which is any day it can rain and the same problem could happen again. And I don't want water in my basement, but you see the dilemma I face. I need to put a wall on the left side, a retaining wall, and I need on the other side, I'll have my sunken patio. So I decided that I get the sandbags just to try to hold some dirt back if it does rain again. And I'm just starting to dig. And again, I, had, I was down here for several days, so I decided I'm just gonna dig out a, a trench. I'm probably gonna overkill it uh, deeper than it needs to be, but I'm gonna replace that drain. Uh, there's two drains that I have at the bottom of the stairs and I'm gonna put in a better drain. But you know, gravity is my enemy here. Um, everything's uphill. So I've gotta dig a deep trench and then I gotta dig around this wall and uh, get to the other side where there's, you know, where the water can drain and then the lower spots toward the pasture. So as I'll show you here as I walk around the tomatoes, that I want to bring the drain out over here because over here the, the, you know, the ground naturally slopes and it slopes away from, you know, the house toward the pasture and therefore uh, we won't just recirculate water back down the sidewalk. So, so I start digging, and uh, I'll show you in another video what I did with all the dirt, but uh, there's lots of dirt here. And again, I've, my whole plan has been to move this. My vision quest is to do it all myself, do it all by hand. I don't want machinery, but uh, I'm just going to do it. And uh, I got a good start on it with three days of digging. And, uh, but I did find something interesting. That's old Pioneer era pipe, you know, clay piping that must have been the sewer for an old house that, you know, the locals here don't even remember what it looked like. So... Yeah, it was kind of interesting to find that pipe, and, and I'll show you here in a minute. There's several sections that look just as good as they did the, the day they were installed. So, yeah, they don't make it like they used to. But uh, So here's a hole that goes under the wall, and I'm thinking, you know what? I could just go under the wall right here and not have to go all the way around the corner, but then I'd be recirculating water possibly right back down the sidewalk. 
Here's a close-up look at all the sections I pulled out. You know, there's several broken ones, but you know, I had five full ones that didn't have any damage to them at all. So that's, that was interesting. Then I started looking at this dirt, and I'm thinking, you know what? I've been screening this dirt, and it hasn't been the best, but down at the bottom of the wall, uh, toward the bottom of the wall, the dirt's pretty good. So I'm going to use this, and I'll show, again, I'll show you that in another video. So I dug as far as I could, and then I got kind of a narrow trench here. <laughs> so I started digging from the other side and just kind of meet, I'll meet in the middle. And I was hoping that this trip down, I could do the whole thing, but I got this far, and uh, which is quite a bit. And again, the dirt was very useful. And so I killed two birds with one stone by doing another project or several projects with that dirt. So I'll be showing that in the next video. But there's the old uh, owner's dog that came down to help clean up. And that's as far as I got this trip. So I've got a little bit more digging to do and to dig down, but I've almost got where, where you know what I need it to be. Now I just need to design a, a drainage system and figure out, do a little research uh, on what's the best drainage system.